Hi guys, Captain Tiger Lily here. We're back with more of Shadows Over Loathing and we've got a couple of things to do today and I've got a couple of ideas of things to do today. But first, hit the like button, the subscribe button, click the notification bell and leave comments down below for all those engagement things. So, if you all recall from last time, we got, whoops, we got this lovely thing from that sword. However, if I go to my inventory and I look at my weapons, it doesn't say that it's cursed, but it gave me a curse. So is it possible we can uncurse it? I would like to find out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to Ocean City. And actually, I got... Before we uncurse, I got things to give to our favorite bartender man, Fancy Dan. Oh, I don't? Aw, oh, well, never mind. I thought I had things to give him. I guess while we're over here, we could go look at the, uh, the hobo camp, because the one dude got the summons. What was his name? Ovid? Anyway, let's go in here. Let's see if we can uncurse anything. See, I can remove it. Two. Does this thing get rid of geeses? The plural of goose is just geese? Why do you have geese? No, geese. Like a curse, kind of. Oh. Well, then probably do it. Inside the contraption, you feel a whoosh, a pop, and a little pain, not unlike having your ears pierced. Uh, I don't remember it feeling like that, but okay. I mean, a little pain and a pop, yes, but the whoosh part's weird. And indeed, there's a spurt of pus that follows the procedure, although not from where you think. What? The geese is gone. I lost the swamp geese thing. Okay, so that means... I'm back up to 8, 8, and 9 instead of 7, 7, and 8. That's good. It doesn't work for Dark Noelle's thing. But, I don't know. Maybe the only way to get rid of her thing is, like, to beat her in a fight and it goes away? I don't know. I also, I wanted my muscle up because my muscle was the lowest. So, where did, where did I do the thing? Okay. So, I, I ate a different food because it, plus, it put a plus 7 on my HP. And I would rather have the bonus for that. So I got, I ate the, it was like gator meat or something or jerky or I don't remember what it was. I have some more of it, but, and then I drank the tea because that would plus one to my muscle because without any of this, my muscle is very low. It's the, I think it's the lowest thing I have. So, <laughs> and I also have six AP because I put my other pants back on. I originally had the, um, just the Gator Man pants on, so I put my, uh, gardening pants back on from Professor Kalos, but it was the, um, uh, where the heck is it? Uh, uh this was the tea that I drank, and then, where's the, where's the stuff? See, I had... I had the gator man skin pants on, which does raise my muscle, but it only gave me two armor. It didn't give me all the other fancy stuff, but it's fine. Um, where the heck is it? Dried swamp meat. That was the thing that I ate. So, um, well, we've gotten rid of that and I had an idea for where the barbecue sauce could be because I'm an idiot. The barbecue wing at the school. <laughs> okay. Anyway, before we do that, we're going to go up to the hobo camp and talk to Ovid there, I think. It's a tin Lizzie. Oh, I got anarchist hardware. Thank you. 
It's Pepperidge Dolphin! Looks like he's still adjusting to the... to... Orthogonal life. How's it going, Pepperidge? Quite nice. It's a very nice little community they've got here. A marvelous first step on my new path as a world traveler. Nice! I hope it goes well for you. I'm quite certain my travels will be completely free of danger or violent misfortune. Let me ask you something. Do you know any hobo code? I have learned some since my arrival, yes. At least I can do, after the help you've given me. Here, I'll write it down. He writes something down on a scrap of paper and hands it to you. Hmm, I don't really understand this one. He takes the paper, rotates it about 30 degrees, and hands it back. Ah, got it. Uh, do I have anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. Um, hey! It's Ovid! <laughs> it's Ovid Lubdell, the shopkeeper from SIT. You know, the bad guy. <laughs> oh, hey, my messenger friend. I never caught your name. Hi, Ovid. I'm Fern. Thanks for reporting me here. Business is booming. Okay, anything else new that you're selling? Um, I got three of those. I don't really need a baseball. Gauze pad. Jocelyn Pom Pom. Mob Pistol. SIT Sports Drink. SIT Sports Letter. It's an accessory. It is a quest item, so I'm gonna get it. Because I, I feel like it's something that I might need. Okay, anybody else? Okay, not over here. And then nothing here. Okay. I'm sorry, what did that say? Pepperidge's great grandfather's tombstone? <laughs> Why did he bring his tombstone? I'm so confused. Hi, Beanie. You don't have anything else to tell me? Well, that's just not fair. Um, okay. Alrighty, let's go... Let's go to SIT. Because I would like to try and find... Uh, I think the... Was the barbecue wing in here? Nope, spider wing. Shit. <laughs> I gotta go to the other one. Whoops, that's... You know what, we'll just... Do that. You wander into an empty classroom and find a blackboard covered with complex physics equations. Struggle to understand them with my muscles. You furrow your brow and try your best to learn something from the equations. You fail, but you do strengthen your furrowing muscles quite a bit. Sweet, I got a strong forehead. There's a lot here anyway going on, okay? I got my dad's high forehead. It's fine. Okay, so if we go in the barbecue wing, um, obviously it's not the steam tunnel access. Not that. And it wasn't, was it in here? Can I pick it up from something in here? No. Frozen food, I can't get in. Can't get into the physical ed. This fountain appears to be hooked up to a supply of barbecue sauce instead of water. Fill up the cup. Sweets. Let's go give him the thing. At Fission Chips. You walk past the phone booth and, uh, uh-oh. I remember this one. We fighting them. Creepy shadow peoples. I love that that does three stench every single time now. It's so good. I love it. On fire for you. I may not need to go on fire with them because I have six AP that I can use. I would like to summon a cheese buddy just in case. Forgot I can do that now and I'm so happy I can. That'll do. I'll do that just in case. Sleaze damage. I got all the sleaze damage. Everything around us is just grody. <laughs> I mean, I'm carrying around God knows what on my pants. So I'm not entirely surprised. 
Uh, we're gonna hit you because you're the only one that's not gonna take any fire damage. You take three bleed. <gasps> the audacity! He hit me with four bleed. <gasps> Claudia, no! Not Claudia. We've talked about this. Not Claudia. It just makes me think of the British show, <laughs> um, Primeval, which if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. But one of the main characters is called uh, Claudia Brown for season one or series one, since they say it a little differently. But it, it's such a good show. I mean, if you want... I'm sorry, he just knocked out Claudia. I need a moment. <sighs> anyway, um... If you want a TV show that's all about rips in time and space and dinosaurs, that is the show you need to look up. It's all on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's on Prime or not, but it's it's a good show. We're going to do... You're going to kneecap him. Get him, Ollie. Yeah! Yeah! Nobody messes with telephone booths on your watch. Alexander Graham Bell would be proud. You damn right he would. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't if you haven't seen Primeval, it's definitely worth the watch. Here you go, Floyd. One serving of barbecue sauce. Oh, holy cow! Thank you. He takes a big sniff of the sauce. Ah, sweet and smoky, just like Dad used to make. Well, just like the machines at Dad's factory used to make. Dad's job was just make sure rats didn't the rats didn't unionize. You had rats working in your factory? What is it? Ratatouille? Remy in there? Making some fancy barbecue sauce? I'm down for it. Well enjoy. I sure will. Thanks for your help. Sweet. Okay, uh how much XP do I have? 175. I can do some of my book stuff. Which we're actually gonna go from I have four junk mail. Can I open it yet? I need a letter opener. I don't know where to find one. Frustrating. I'm so sad about this. Okay. So, I'd found out, I don't remember if it was in the last episode or the episode before, but I, I don't think I put that clip in the, in the video just because there was a bunch of other stuff around it that wasn't really, it was just back and forth kind of stuff. But you could have actually gone in and filled the demodog's water dish and then given it to him and gotten him as a pet. You're telling me this entire time I could have had a demodog pet and I killed it. My, my life is ruined. I, I will never recover from this. <laughs> Ever. Okay. Books to read. Books to read. Oh yeah, the honey ape handprint. Look at the handprint. It's the size of a normal human hand, and it's got four fingers and one thumb. Totally ordinary. Hmm. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Okay. You've read the story already, but there's that boring appendix full of science details. Excuse me. You memorize the appendix. You're summoned ele em elemental elements. Em elementals. Muscle, mysticality, and moxie will be increased by three. Memorize it. You, t you summon a test elemental who grabs the book out of your hands and tears it in half. It's alive! Alive! Beautiful. Okay, so that was 100. I don't know if I can read anything else for 75, but we're gonna look. Because if I have more things to do, I would like to. Bones and how to crack them. Oh, I need 100. That will increase my mysticality by two. Oh, we're going for it, man. Okay. What quests do I have? What side quests do I have? Um, where Do we know where the submarine is? I would love to know where the submarine is. Because I do not know where the submarine is. I would like to know this very much. So we're going to go back to the Big Moist because we have a lot of things to do there. So, um, it's like a boxcar. Mob submarine. We doing it. We doing it. Let's go. I'd like to get some muns from the mob again. It's odd. 
this patch of muddy ground has a lot of tracks in it that look like human handprints. Well, except for the fact that humans don't normally walk around on their hands. Maybe there was an acrobatic convention? In the middle of a swamp? Oh, what was that thing the one kid was talking about? The honey ape? Hmm, maybe there's something there after all. Um, follow the tracks! There's more than... The more you look, the more confused, trampled... The more of a confused, trampled mess these tracks are. It seems like there are different sets of tracks heading in different directions. How many thumbs did you say the thing had? One on each hand? One. Again, how many fingers was it? Four. You follow these prints to a clearing in the middle of a small stand of trees. And to your surprise, you find an animal pretty much like the honey ape the kid described. Like a somewhat larger chimpanzee or a very small gorilla, but with disproportionately large and human-like hands. <laughs> It's sitting on the ground, casually drinking out of a beehive, and doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. I'm gonna sneak up on it. You successfully creep up on the unsuspecting primate, but you run out of trees and brush to hide behind before you get close enough to really do anything. Outsmart it! You pick up a rock and chuck it into the uh, uh, underbrush. Ugh, God. We've, we've established that this game makes it so that I can't talk. Because I try to talk too fast and then I trip over my own tongue. It's stupid. Continuing on. <laughs> the honey ape stiffens at the noise and starts scanning for predators in that direction. Grab it! You leap on the small primate and wrestle it to the ground, screeching loudly. I mean, the primate is screech. No, let's be fair. You both are. <laughs> Once you get pinned, you grab it by the wrist and yank off one of its long, untrimmed fingernails. Oh. Which, thinking about it, is making me wince, and I've written some pretty horrible stuff in this game alone. Yeah, ow! Just the idea of my fingernail being ripped off hurts so much. With that horrible deed accomplished, you let the creature loose, and it runs screaming into the swamp. Congratulations on successfully stalking, outsmarting, and assaulting a small weird ape. Thanks! Oh my god, what the hell? Alright, so we've got our submarine. Let's open it up and climb inside. Okay. Ugh. Slipping out of my chair. This control panel has a big dial on it labeled internal pressure. Turn the dial. Shut the pressure. Oh, I don't know. Nothing happens. I, d I don't know what pressure I'm supposed to have. It's a hatch. Look. It's a hatch leading to the submarine's lower deck. Open it. You open the hatch to discover the lower deck is completely flooded. You'll need to find some breathing apparatus if you want to go down there. Okay, I've got that. I would like to explore the rest of this first. Unclog the pipe. I got... Russian clogs. Uh, sub submariners must have used their extra steam to do their laundry. I got mildew sailor's hat. That's gross. Torpedo? The wheel on this hatch is stuck fast. No amount of grunting and straining will make it go round and round. Look through the periscope. Which is a device <laughs> for looking at guys named Perry. No Perry's on the horizon today, Captain. Got it. The back half of the submarine is blocked by impenetrable tangle of roots. Okay, so I need to put on the... The helmet. The diving helmet. Well, first I want to fish. Can't fish through a closed door, and it closes if you're not holding it. Well, shit. I guess we're going down there. Alright. These torpedoes have been ruined by water. Somebody should have damned them. Crates have been crusted shut by freshwater barnacles. Is that a thing? Like, are freshwater bar barnacles real? I didn't... I thought it was just salt water. See what's inside the lockbox. A pile of silver bars. Climb back up. I need... I'd love to find a way. Okay, so... Do I have some kind of... I don't have a pressure thing. I wonder if there's something in my inventory that they gave me. Adds a kick when you're rushing places? I'm gonna pass for now. Um, 
I don't know if there was anything that they gave me. I don't think so. They did just say to investigate it, so maybe that's all I have to do? Is that it? Move some booze from the mob sunken- Okay, so I have to find a way to release the pressure. Uh... I don't see anything that says what the pressure is. is supposed to be at. Through this porthole, you can see the darkness inside the submarine. In a way, a submarine reflects the darkness inside all of us. <gasps> Hobo code. Disappointing lack of sandwiches inside. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, oh god, I don't know. I mean, we found it at least, but I don't know what the pressure is supposed to be. Um, hmm. Maybe if we go back to the campus and we ask, um, what's his name? Um, Greasy Steve about it. Oh yeah, I forgot I still have the helmet on. Why do we have robots? We're gonna deactivate them. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. He's too busy eating to talk to you. Cool, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Okay, fine. Let's... Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna put my... Fedora back on. Thank you. And then we're gonna go to the monster shack because I have the thing for the one kid who is looking for the honey ape. So we're gonna give him that. Uh, what are we fighting? Shadow tentacles. That tracks. <laughs> One down. Um, I guess if we're gonna take him out that easy, I don't really need to use the fire. Yeah. I think we're good there. <laughs> and done. <laughs> Okay. Now, which kid was it that was looking for the honey ape? Was it this kid? Yes. Turned out you were right. The honey ape is totally a real thing. Oh my gosh, really? I knew it. Here's your tracing back and the fingernail you wanted. Wow. Huh. Something wrong? I guess I'm just torn between excitement and vindication and the fact that this is a much grislier object than I realized it was going to be. Oh, don't worry about it. The honey ape will be fine. It had nine more. The kid pulls out a sash, pins on a badge, and hands it to you. As a thanks, here is an official Monster Squad sash and your first Monster Squad badge. Neat. Thank you. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Pet him? But, but I have a sash and everything. Do I have to put it on? I'm gonna put it on and see if that makes a difference. If not, I'll put my cufflinks back on. Boris looks at your sash and turns up his nose at you. Ah, I don't have enough badges, do I? Okay, where's my... My cufflinks. Fine. Okay. Let's go to... You know what? We're gonna go to the frog bog. Because I want to know what the frog bog is. <laughs> is that a little ridiculous? Yes. Oh no! I don't have enough stench armor. We're gonna follow it at a safe distance, I guess. You follow the safe breathe breathing distance as the smell of the wisp bobs and weaves through the fetid marsh. Eventually, it comes to rest on a rotting tree stump, and you sneak up quietly behind it. Just as you're about to grab a sample, three gator men casually stand up from where you were crouched in the knee-deep water around you. <sighs> Draw my weapon. I need gator men hides. I need the hides. I don't know why we're fighting the... The, the, the thing, but sure. Just in case. <laughs> Cheese buddy! 
Get him. Get him again. <laughs> And on fire. Okay, and then... You've taken the least amount of hits, so... Flip! Whoa! Molly! That was a lot! You good? You good, girly? Punch it! Hehehe! <laughs> Chase punching. That was so much. Thank you, Claudia. I'm gonna make sure you and Molly don't go down. We're gonna heal you. And then... Do the band-aids work on anybody? Yes. Big old band-aid right on Molly's face. Appropriate <laughs> with this game. Ooh, I'm poisoned because I killed him. Showed him. Punch him. Ooh, the cheese can actually heal. Ooh. I got lots of items. I got Stinky Esther. Which I guess is just the 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 smell of the wisp. I don't know. I got 18 XP, 104 meat, swamp mushroom, swamp eel hat band. And Claudia's stronger. <laughs> nice. So many things. Why there's so many speaks to the frogs? You clear your throat. There was a frog in it. Maybe don't use that joke when you're talking to frogs, though. Uh, hello, frogs. Not frogs. Wait, you're saying you're humans, not frogs? Right. You think about what it would be like to be trapped in a frog's body. After a few seconds, you stop thinking about it because you don't like thinking about things that fill you with a with harrowing existential angst. I agree. How did this happen? Statue. Ancient statue. It's kind of hard to understand you with everybody talking all at once. Why are you all talking? Mind share. All frogs share a single mind. Wow, that's incredible. This changes... Uh... Actually, you can't think of any significant consequences of what you've learned. You try to remember the last time you interacted with a specific frog as an individual, and it was... Uh-oh. That biology class. Best not to bring that up. Is there some way I can help you? One of the larger frogs hops to you and coughs loudly. A shiny green object flies out of its mouth and sinks into the water. Grab it! You roll up your sleeve and plunge your hand into the nasty water. Your fingers find a hard object, which turns out to be, wow, shiny. A gleaming emerald. Uh, which I do with this. The second frog approaches you and belches up a soggy piece of paper. You decide to just look instead of touching it with your hand. It appears to be a shipping label from a nearby quarry. Hmm. Share. Be careful and luck. Okay. So there's a quarry, and there's a frog bog. This, there's so much. Okay, um, we're gonna go to, eh, follow the quest line, why not? Let's see what's at the quarry. Oh my god. You catch a whiff of burnt rubber and see a column of smoke drifting into the nearby sky, or in the sky nearby. As you get closer to the site, you see that a small airplane has crashed into the mud, or perhaps splatted or glorped into the mud. Um, I will look at the crash site later. Okay. There's no other door. Drive efficiently. Excess gas will be deducted from your paycheck. 
management. Oh my. So I'm, this guy seems a bit, um, uh, hi there. He's responding. This might seem like a strange question, but do you know anything about a curse? Your attitude says no, but your everything else says yes. Okay. Uh-oh. The foreman got turned into it, too. Take the hat. Intimidate and Stetson. Um, personnel files for everyone who worked at or has ever worked at this quarry. Let's check them out. You give the files a quick rifle through. They tend to be very thin. People who were hired and then quit real fast. There's only a handful of current records and they aren't very interesting. Look up Fern Ranger. What? You don't work here. I still don't believe that you worked at that gas station or that restaurant. Look up Fern Ranger. Oh, fine. You flip through the folders and... Holy crap, there you are, Fern Ranger. What the heck? Yeah, I get around. <laughs> Dig through the the foreman's desk. I got a Haim. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Haim Quarry Mess Hall Key. And I got Bess. <laughs> the gun's name is Bess. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look behind the painting of a safe. Push the painting aside and find, surprise, a safe. Unfortunately, it's a key type safe and you don't have the key. Not that a combination lock would have been much better, but you could have twiddled a dial and hoped to get lucky. <laughs> Investigate the books. All you, It's all books on management with titles like Shaking the Invisible Hand, You Deserve More, and How to Get Blood Out of Turnips You Hired. <laughs> okay. Let's... Whoops, I meant to talk to the dude. Hi there. Nice suit. You look like a fancy guy. I guess you basically won the frog lottery, huh? Oof. I wonder if the the frogs were turned into people and the people were turned into frogs. Because it's kind of what it's seeming like. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but that's kind of what it seems like. Is that the frogs were turned into people and the people were turned into frogs. Uh, we're gonna unlock the mess hall because I have the key. Gone in. Ew, flies. Gross. From the looks of the crust on these dishes, the food here wasn't very good, even before it spoiled. Range doesn't even have a gas line connected to it. Guess you could warm something up to room temperature. Search the last remaining drawer. I got junk mail and paperclip. Well, that ain't really helpful. This is either a guy who thinks he's a frog, or a soul of a frog trapped in the body of a guy, or a really good method actor rehearsing for Toad of Toad Hall. Excuse me, have you seen any cursed frog idols around here? He sticks his tongue out as a fly buzzes past, and it seems confused and disappointed by its length. Oh boy, okay, good luck. Oh, sorry, dude. All the oil in this lamp is dried up. Only one bed. The S on the... Bunk's sign must have been a typo. <laughs> Use Rufus's gadget. Sweet. Tuned it. Check out the lockers. Frog lady watching it seems real agitated. Better leave him alone. Um, hi ma'am. Can you tell me a, can you communicate to me in some way anything about a curse? Oh jeez, please don't do that thing with your neck again. Okay, what thing with her neck? Froggy men. Hi. If I asked you if you were a frog trapped in a man's body, would you have any way to answer that I would be able to understand? I guess I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Giant one-eyed frog statue. Hold on. Judging from the smell and the thick cloud of flies, this is not a, pl a place for a good time. Let's go back unless you really have a good reason. Talk to this person. Hey, don't touch that. Ah, a talking man. That's right. I'm a human man and not a frog at all. I have reason to believe you're actually a frog in a man's body somehow. Well, it's my body now and I'm keeping it. I don't need any dry skin leg walkers coming in here and holy hop, you've got the missing eye. This big emerald? Yeah, I was just noticing it looks an awful lot like the other one. Okay, I absolutely need you to step away from the statue. Right hopping now. 
<laughs> I need to start saying that right hopping now. That's great. You don't want me to fix it? It's very important. It's an ancient idol of the frog god. And when the humans blasphemed against it by removing that eye, this particular human right here, I might add, they were cursed with the great croaking one's righteous fury. Oh, so that's why all the people are here in the frogs in the bog nearby. Yeah, you guessed it. It's the old Freaky Friday routine. I don't know what that means. I knew. I know what that means. I love that movie. Forget about it. The point is, the humans did the crime, so now it's the frogs time to shine. And if I put the eye back... If you put the eye back, it undoes the curse. Yeah. Oh, hop. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. Those frogs, uh, people, really want their bodies back. Well, so hop and what? Hop them. Jeez, man. Look, take your inherent pro-human bias into account and consider the justice of the situation, okay? These people came rolling up in here with their machines and stuff, tear up our land, spill oil and gasoline everywhere. Then they find this ancient religious icon and the first thing they do is try to loot it. These aren't good people and they got what's coming to them. Well, what should I do? I'll tell you what you do. You take the other eye out of the statue. What? I don't want to be a frog. No, 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 don't worry about it. that. It won't curse you. What it'll do is make the original curse permanent. No take backs, no do overs. That's justice, Tadpole. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll sweeten the deal. You can keep the emeralds. Heck, I'll make a necklace for you. I like necklaces? Still getting used to having a neck myself. Well, oh. do I want to lie? I, I do want to fix it. I'm going to tell him that I'm taking out the other eye. Okay, I'll take out the other eye. Great, go ahead and help yourself. This will be a real weight off my shoulders, you know. Never even had shoulders before. All right. Mess with the frog god. The statue's one remaining eye twinkles in the dim light. It almost looks like it's winking at you, which does not exactly help when it comes to making a decision here. Maybe a little more, maybe be a little more explicit about your desires, huh, frog god? Return the missing eye. In the interest of full disclosure, I should point out that this is a one-way decision. If you mess with the idol, you won't be able to change your mind afterwards, so don't mess this up. Shit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's not easy. So what do we do? Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it some more and I'm gonna come back. Because I don't really know what the play is here. I I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I guess let's go check out the crash site, I guess. I don't know. You find the arm of a traveling salesman sticking out of the ground. Given the condition of the arm, it seems like the body is atta it's attached to must have been down there for quite some time. Grab the ring. The ring slips easily off the arm's finger because the finger is both wet and withered with decay. One or the other would have sufficed. You got an item. She's ringling. Give the arm a proper burial. Every time you dig, the hole immediately fills with water. You decide... To just use the shovel to press the arm down below the surface and call it a day. It's a day. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. Alright. Grumpy looking pilot. Seems like you've got kind of a problem here. Huh, you think? Yeah, three kinds of problems I got. If you don't count the headache. A plane being stuck ass downwards in this swamp is the most obvious one. Anything I can help you with? My name is Fern, by the way. Rhonda Rasmussen. Hi. And yeah, if you got time on your hands, you can bet your buns I can use it. What happened? I'm looking to be the first to fly this plane around the swamp in one go, see? Nearly made it too, but first to fly nearly all the way around the swamp won't be making any newspaper headlines. Now look what I got. A plane half buried in muck, tainted fuel, and even if I got those sorted out, there ain't any runway for me to be flying again. Hmm... Uh, what's involved in building a runway? 
Is that a tar and mad macadam? I don't know. I could slap down a, a quick and dirty runway. Dirtier than quick, for certain, but it'll be good enough to get me out of here, and I've got plenty of tar, but where'd you get that barrel of tar anyway? You know, it's a funny story. But anyway, I need a load of macadam to, to go with it. Well, that's macadam. It's like gravel for fuss budgets. For my purposes, I need a load of rocks exactly three centimeters across. There isn't very many rocks. Each individual rock is three centimeters across, not the whole load together. Ooh. I could look for some rocks that size. That'd be great. Come to think of it, I believe I passed an old quarry on the way down. Didn't get a close look because I was kind of distracted, but I can mark it on your map for you. Okay, I'll go take a look. Uh, what's wrong with your fuel? When I landed, the fuel tank got full of swamp water, which I don't know how very well versed you are in the chemistry of aircraft fuel, but not good for it. Not good for it. So I siphoned the tank dry, figured it wouldn't be a big deal since I got a can of backup fuel. Let me guess. That's full of water too. Ain't nothing so bad that it can be a little worse. Can it be fixed somehow? Well, technically, yeah. I just need to have the water dis distilled out of it. I don't have anything like that kind of equipment though. Hmm, maybe I could dig something up. The girl and the hobo camp with the still in the food car. She can fix it. All right. Any basic distillation setup should do the trick. It ain't rocking science, just airplane science. That's a much slower kind of science. Here's the can. I'll see what I can do. The plane seems really stuck. Oh, you noticed, huh? Yeah, it's sticking up out of the ground there. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Yep, it sure is. The way Rhonda's staring at you starts to make you a little uncomfortable. I'll just walk away for now. Consider my options. I'm sorry, I have <laughs> plenty of options. Consider all the possi possible ways in which you might extract this plane from its current state of, di of diagonality. Beasts of burden, raw muscle, heavy industry, telekinesis, science, leverage, faith, <laughs> and procrastination. Okay, I don't think you can get piety in this game, so I think that's just off there. But I'll go with telekinesis. You close your eyes, reach out with your feelings. Then you cause your feelings to magically coalesce into a giant hand made of pure energy, which easily plucks the plane from the mire while avoiding being a, a super dumb and anachronistic pop culture reference. Thanks, feelings. All right, then. I got your plane unstuck. I saw, that was a hell of a trick, I gotta say. I'm duly impressed. Aw, shucks. Still caked in mud and weeds and all, but I guess it comes with the territory. In a real, literal sense. Nothing a little elbow grease can't correct, plus maybe a little regular aircraft grease. All right. So, let's go to, while I'm thinking about it, whoops. We're gonna go to Ocean City, and we're gonna go up to the hobo camp. And talk to... I can't remember her name. Stephanie Copper. Hey, that's my first name! Neat, thanks. We're gonna talk to her and see if she can distill this thing for me. Oh, what the heck? Uh, don't worry about it. What? Where else could I go? Um. Crystal Dream Lake? Maybe in the distillery? That's the only other place I can think of. Because I don't think there was anywhere at the school. Wait, I don't have them. I have to avoid my past self. I don't have the bandages yet. I haven't got them from Charles Wallace. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's see if I can use the distillery. Distill the wet fuel. Distilled plain fuel! Sweet! Okay. 
My nose is so itchy, like, right here. It's really annoying. <laughs> okay, uh, and then what was the other thing she needed? The pebbles from Feldman Quarry. There is so much on this map. I feel like we're definitely not going to get it all. Oh, here come the gator men again. Oh, no. Well, crap. Fight him. He just belched in Claudia's face. Heckin' rude. The audacity. First of all, we're gonna heal Claudia. Because that was unnecessary. Rain prevents on fire. Well, that's just great. Fine. That's cool. That's awesome. That's wonderful. Love that for me. Can he not heal himself? Okay, he needs to heal himself. Oh, you can't! They're forbidden from healing themselves. Oh, no. Oh. Old cheese man, you better hang in there. <clears throat> Molly, no! No, Molly! <laughs> I'm going to cry. I am legitimately going to cry. I need to... Heal my cheese buddy. Okay, 8, 19, 14. Begging. You're gonna hit cheeseling. Can't have that. I was poisoned. Not great. Dead. I'm sorry, did you just heal yourself? I'm not alright with that. Okay, I'm gonna do one of those. And then you are gonna get... You're gonna get whipped. Ta-da! Oh, God. My cheese buddy's gone! I lost my cheese, buddy. I'm not happy. You know what? To hell with it. Sword, leaf, leaf, sword. Right in your face. Got it. Two Gator Man hides. Nice. I got Gator Punch, too. I wonder what I can do with those, like, headbands and stuff. I wonder if I can actually put one on my hat. I mean, I have a something on my hat. Let's take a look. Already has a hat band. Good point. What was the other thing that was new that I wanted to look at? Yes. Ooh. That makes my elemental stronger. Ooh, excuse me. Um. Muscle and moxie. Swamp mushrooms. I don't know what to do about that. Oh yeah, I gotta go give that back to the girl. But anyway. A dump truck sits beneath the chute, patiently awaiting the day's dump. Big lever, lever labeled dump here. Units. Polish. Pound. Crush. Reload. Shadow salad. Okay, let's reload. Okay. Crush it. Found it. Polish it. Found it. Ah, crap. Okay. Let's uh, try this again. 
Let's try... Crush? Uh, polish units. Kerchunk. Five centimeters. It need to be what? Three? No. Terrible grinding noises. Alrighty. What do we got? Pound. Nope. What the heck? Reload. Rock is wearing sunglasses. Oh! Pure rock candy. Cool. Pound. Crush. Crush. <gasps> yes! Yes! I got it! Drive back to Rhonda. Yes. I'll bring it back. Yes, I promise. Come on, let's go. Got your fuel cleaned up. No Shinola? If there was any in there, I think I got it out. Let's have a look. She opens a can, pours a little into a wine glass, and swirls it around while peering at it closely. Oh, look at that. No legs at all. Oh, jeez. Did I mess it up? No, no. That's a good thing. Means you got rid of all the water. I don't see any dirt in there either. Nice work. Thank you. Got your macadam, ma'am. Oh, yeah, those are some good looking rocks. Nice find. Okay. Give me a hand spreading these out and tarring them up. The two of you spend some time setting up a makeshift runway. It's hard, dirty work, but it beats dealing with fairies and fishmen and the rest of the bonkers nonsense you've been getting up to. Good. That'll do nicely. Well, nice is maybe over complimenting it, but it's good enough. Great. Uh, I guess you're all set then? Looks like it. Got my plane, fuel, and runway all sorted out. Thanks a ton. I couldn't have done it without you. You know, you can have a career in aviation if you ever decide to give up. What do you do? Rather not attempt to explain it. Gotcha. Had jobs like that. Well, I haven't got any meat on hand to pay you for your time, but here. Let me give you this spare flight helmet as a souvenir. Souvenir? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, neat. Thanks. You're into pal. Keep her flying. Good luck. Okay, she's gone. See you, Rhonda. Can I not open the thing? Drive it back to the quarry. Because I'm not going to be rude. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just have. Now it just says runway. <laughs> That's great. Um. Okay, I'm going to go back to the monster shack real quick and give the one girl the. Um. The wisp thingy. Cool. My crypto body stuff. Okay, actually, I want to see if I could do the one book now that I had. Where was it? Where'd it go? Did I pass it already? I'm going to click on the power tools. Study the appendix. You memorize the messiest recipes the book has to offer. Speaking of messy, you carelessly drop the book into a nearby pile of trash. Ew. Gross. Okay, so we got that. Uh, was that? No, you wanted. You were the one who wanted the bug man. You wanted the the smell of the wisp. I sure did. Please don't open the jar while I'm in the room. That bad, huh? wonder if it's gotten stronger since we met. Well, anyway, thanks for your help. You hand over the nose trumpet she lent you and the jar of foulness you collected. Kid takes your sash, pins another badge to it, and hands it back. I got an upgrade to my Monster Club sash. Thanks. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna leave this episode here because we didn't, we've done a few things today. I do not know what to do with, about that frog thing. I really don't. Um, let's check out what our tasks are for now. So I still need to figure out the submarine thing. I have no idea what to do with that. 
Um, I found seven of the eleven radios for Rufus. Um, I need to decide whether to restore the Emerald Eye to the Statue of the Frog God or remove the other one in the cave. Not as clear-cut as it sounds. Honestly, I kind of want to make the curse permanent because I feel like something sketchy was going on with the humans because the the foreman seemed to be pretty stingy about money so I feel like he was trying to steal the emeralds and sell them or something or it was like just trying to get them for himself I don't know but um, I need to go to the moss rock grotto and get some moss for the moss kid and then um, I need to do the whole thing with Barbara Yagara I need to trap the thing in the monster the Chuparanya, I don't even know if that's how you, s Chupanaranya, I, why? I also need to go to the old Flemberg place for the one girl, and then I need, I think, three more gator hides for John Leathers. We got a lot to do. So, we're going to pick that up in the next episode and figure out what the heck we're going to do about some of these things. So... If you guys like this video, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, that way you guys get notified when new videos go live, and check me out on Twitter, where I also post about when videos go live, as well as tend to follow all of the Dungeons and Dragons, specifically Critical Role related things. <laughs> I'm obsessive, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave the full playlist for Shadows Over Loathing down below me here on the screen if you guys want to check out everything that's happened so far, if this is the first episode you're turning into, or if you just want to go back and watch something funny or weird or stupid that I do, which happens a lot. And if you guys want to go check it out, I will leave the full playlist for Lego The Hobbit on the opposite side of the screen. That way you guys can see everything that's happening over there. And I will leave the link to the game down below if you guys want to play Shadows Over Loathing for yourselves. And if you do, let me know down in the comments what uh, your class thing was that you chose and what your uh, subclass was. I am a cheese wizard crypto botanist because that sounded like the most fun. <laughs> but if you guys pick something different, let me know. And let me know what uh, different things, like different options and stuff that you guys have. So. That being said, this is Captain Tiger Lily, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.